Have you ever felt your phone getting too hot to handle after playing a game or recording a video for too long? Well, Apple might finally have a smart solution for that in the upcoming iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max. According to recent reports, Apple is working on adding a vapor chamber cooling system to its next Pro models. This is something that's been talked about since 2021, when analyst Ming-Chi Kuo first mentioned Apple was testing this tech for the iPhone 13. It didn't happen back then, but now, Several sources, including tipster Majin Buu, are claiming the vapor chamber is finally making its way to the iPhone 17 Pro series. Why now? It seems the upcoming A19 and A19 Pro chips are expected to be more powerful, and with that extra performance comes more heat to keep things under control. Apple wants to stop the phone from getting hot without slowing it down. Currently, the iPhone 16 series uses graphene sheets to pull heat away from the A18 chip. And Apple also changed the batteries covering from foil to metal to help spread the heat more evenly. Plus, the iPhone's metal and glass body helps to cool things down, but all these methods have their limits. That's where the vapor chamber comes in. It's a small sealed metal unit with a tiny amount of liquid inside. When the phone gets hot, the liquid evaporates and moves to a cooler part of the phone where it turns back into a liquid. This cycle continues, quickly lowering the device's temperature without cutting performance. In other words, the vapor chamber could keep your phone running fast without getting hot, even during things like gaming or 4K video recording. Majin Buu says that only the iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max will get this cooling upgrade because their processors and displays are more advanced and likely to generate more heat. The regular iPhone 17 and, and the iPhone 17 Air will stick to the old cooling methods. Now, while Majin Buu hasn't always been accurate, he's not alone in saying Apple is finally serious about using vapor chambers, and honestly, it makes sense. The newer chips are getting faster, the displays are getting brighter and more capable, and users are doing more demanding things on their phones every day. So the risk of overheating is only going up if Apple gets this right. You could be holding a phone that stays cool even after an intense gaming session without losing performance or damaging battery health. And speaking of batteries, Apple still hasn't confirmed if this change will impact battery size or milliampere hour capacity but keeping the phone cool also helps batteries last longer in the long run. So, this upgrade could bring a lot more. Then just comfort it could help with overall performance. Could the United States actually be taken to court by China over a tech ban? It might sound extreme, but that's what China is now suggesting after the US expanded restrictions on Huawei's AI chips. The US has just issued a sweeping global Ban on Huawei's Ascend series, particularly the 910C and 910D processors, saying these chips pose risks to national security and data privacy. But this time, China isn't backing down. Instead, it's signaling a possible legal response, pointing to its own anti-sanction laws as a foundation to take action. Under this new ban, the U.S. says Huawei's AI chips can't be used by any company or organization anywhere in the world. That includes both American firms and foreign companies that might be involved with Chinese-made AI chips. China, however, sees this as unfair treatment. Officials in Beijing are calling it an abuse of power, arguing that the U.S. is using national security as an excuse to suppress Chinese technology and gain an edge in the global chip race. Back in 2021, China passed something called the Anti-Foreign Sanctions Law. This law allows Chinese authorities to go after foreign entities, companies, or even individuals that follow sanctions or restrictions that China considers unjust. Now, Beijing is hinting it might finally start using this law more aggressively. That means if a company abroad decides to stop working with Huawei because of the U.S. order, China could respond by imposing penalties or even filing lawsuits against them. While this might sound like political noise, it's clear the tension is rising. China called the U.S. move unilateral bullying and says it goes against international trade rules. Officials have warned they are watching the situation closely and are ready to defend their companies. What makes this moment different is the legal threat. China isn't just complaining. 
It's showing signs that it's prepared to challenge the U.S. and its allies in court. Why is this happening now? Huawei has been stepping up its chip production lately. After developing the Ascend 910C, the company is now focused on producing the newer 910D version. Some reports claim that Huawei's chips are closing the performance gap with NVIDIA's AI processors, including the H20 series. That's a big deal, especially as the U.S. is trying to limit China's access to cutting-edge semiconductors. The U.S. likely sees Huawei's progress as a threat, and this ban seems aimed at slowing down the momentum before the company can roll out its new chips on a wider scale. But it's not just about blocking chip shipments. The U.S. is also warning that companies working with Huawei could face penalties. This puts global businesses in a tough spot. Should they obey U.S. rules and risk facing China's legal action? Or should they stay connected with Chinese tech and risk U.S. sanctions? For now, China's anti-sanction law gives it a legal path to retaliate. Is your Pixel phone suddenly heating up or losing battery way too fast without any clear reason? You're not alone, and one app in particular might be the cause. After the May 2025 Pixel security update rolled out, a wave of users started noticing unusual behavior. Their phones began overheating and draining power even when they weren't doing anything heavy. What's surprising is that this update wasn't supposed to change much. It was just a routine security patch with no major new features. Still, for many users, it ended up triggering a frustrating bug that's now affecting a wide range of Pixel devices. And this isn't just happening to older models with worn-out batteries. Even the latest Pixel 9 Pro released in September is being hit by this problem. At first, people assumed the update itself was to blame. But then, something else came up. Something unexpected. The Instagram app started getting attention after several Pixel owners noticed a pattern. Their phones would heat up just minutes into scrolling, and the battery would drop rapidly. What's worse, the app kept draining power even, when it wasn't being used. It was simply running in the background and causing all this trouble. The real issue seems to be a buggy Instagram update that launched around the same time as the May Pixel patch. The combination of the two appears to be causing the heating and battery drain issues across many devices. And it's not just a small glitch. Reports are coming in from users with nearly every recent Pixel model. That includes the Pixel 6 series, Pixel 7 lineup, Pixel 8 models, Pixel Fold, Pixel Tablet, and even the newer Pixel 9 phones. So, what can you do if your Pixel is acting up? The quickest solution might be simpler than you think. Delete Instagram. A lot of users have already tried this, and they've seen noticeable improvements. Once they uninstalled the app, their phones stopped overheating and battery life returned to normal. It's not a permanent fix, of course. You can reinstall. Instagram later once Meta releases an update that fixes the issue. In the meantime, if you still want to check your feed, try using the web version through your browser instead. Keep in mind, not every Pixel user is experiencing this issue. Some say their phones are fine even with the May update and Instagram installed. For instance, one Pixel 6 Pro user reported that their battery life is still solid and the device runs cool. So, results may vary depending on your phone and usage. Still, if your Pixel is overheating or dying too quickly, removing Instagram is worth trying. It's a quick fix that doesn't require any advanced settings or factory resets. Just delete the app, give your phone a day or two, and see if things go back to normal. If you're waiting for a full fix, keep an eye out for updates from Meta or Google. Hopefully, they'll patch the issue soon so users can go back to using Instagram without worrying about battery life or heat problems. Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips, fixes, and the latest updates in the tech world.